so we are given a proton beam that passes without deviation and we are asked the force with which the beam acts on a target so if it's passing without deviation that means forces must be balanced so qeb magnetic field force should be equal to electrostatic force qe so this gives the velocity as e by b now when this beam acts on a target so the protons will come to rest once they hit the target so there will be a change in momentum that will cause the force force is change in momentum delta p by delta t let's consider the beam hitting for 1 second so that delta t becomes 1 so in 1 second we need to find what is the total momentum of the beam and we divide divide that by 1 so total momentum is equal to momentum of one proton times number of protons crossing a beam in one second so how many protons are crossing in one second so i into 1 is the total charge so i is dq by dt times 1 because we are talking about one second this is the charge of that beam divide by charge of one proton so this is the number of protons of a beam that passes a point for one second momentum of one proton will be mp into v so we just put them here put the value of v as e by b and we will get our answer so once more the forces are balanced which gives v is equal to e by b then momentum the force is rate of change of momentum delta p by delta t so we consider 1 second so we need to find now what is the momentum of particles that are traveling within 1 second of a beam or let's say the cross section how many of them are crossing in 1 second so this is the total charge of particles crossing in 1 second divide by charge on one proton gives the total number of protons crossing in one second times momentum of one proton which is mp into v yeah